What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video we're going to show you how to chroma key your webcam in Streamlabs OBS. We're going to go ahead and add a video capture device. And we're going to add a new capture device and call this webcam. Alright, so we're going to choose the webcam that we want to use. There we go. And we can configure certain options about this, such as our actual saturation and contrast and brightness by clicking configure video. And you'll get this little icon here. And this is where we can adjust certain things like white balance and change that manually so that we can have whatever white balance we want or we can leave it to automatic. And the same goes for brightness and contrast. I like to lower my brightness just slightly and my saturation just a little higher. And we can go ahead and leave that there. That looks pretty good. Um, and then below that, we can change it to um, different resolutions. So if I wanted to, I can have it at 1080p. If I wanted to save um, some processing speed. Or if I wanted a full resolution, I can have it at uh, 1440p. I recommend going as high as your computer can handle because it'll give our chroma key more to work with and it'll look better in the long run. So we'll go ahead and leave it at um, the device default, which is 1440p. You can also change the frames per second here to, from 30 to 60 or whatever you like to do if your camera supports it. Uh, so let's go ahead and fit this to the screen. So let's go to transform, fit to screen. Now, uh, there's a few things on screen I don't want seen. Um, I have these items on the left and these items on the right. So what I'm going to do is hold alt and you're going to be able to actually erase some of what's on the left and some of what's on the right when you're holding alt. If you don't hold alt, it's going to resize it and you don't want to do that. If you hold alt, it'll actually crop it out. So that looks pretty good. Now we're going to place this in the corner of the screen and actually resize it to where we want it to be. So this looks pretty good for me. Um, if we wanted to, like if I raise my, my hand, it's actually opposite. Um, like if, I, if this was a mirror, it would look really weird. It, it's clear that it's projection. So I could actually transform and flip this horizontally so that it works more to, towards expectation. So if I want to point to something on the screen, I know immediately where it is. Uh, so that works. And then you're going to go ahead and right click on this source here. And you're going to go to filters and you're going to get to edit filters. Now under edit filters, you're going to choose add filter and you're going to choose chroma key, not to be confused with color key. Color key is not the one you're looking for. You are looking for chroma key and we're going to add that there. And you can see it already works pretty well. Um, I actually think that works really well. Um, but let's go ahead and, and do what I would normally do to set up a chroma key. So I'm gonna click on this little eye icon here and go to custom color. Under custom color, I'm gonna click on this little eyedropper tool and I'm gonna grab one of the green colors from behind me. So I'll choose one kind of towards the middle. And now I can view and it's taking out all the color of my screen. So if I lower this down, I can start seeing that it's looking a lot better and it's only removing the colors that I want. So let's put this at 30. That looks pretty good. Let's put it at 20. Nice. Let's put this at 50. Feathering will remove some of the harsh edges on, on the sides. So that can be really useful. Too much feathering will make things look invisible. But if you get the right number, it looks pretty good. Um, but I'm going to lower this to 40 and put this up to 25, say maybe even 30. Yeah, that way it gets rid of that line. And then I can lower, raise this to 45, 50. That looks pretty good. Great. And you can check how well it's working by zooming in. And you can kind of see... Do I need to adjust things around um, the headset, for example? And if you do, you can right click and go to filters and edit filter. And you can start editing this live. So I can say I want to remove a little bit here. And now the headset isn't zooming in and out. So I know that that's related. So 25 seems to be all right. 23, even better. So then I'll raise this one up instead. 
and that works pretty well. You can see the actual pieces of the headset without it cutting in and out too much. Um, so that would do pretty well. You can also reduce some color spill reduction um, by raising this up. That can help in some cases if you're getting a lot of color bleed, if you have a lot of similar colored items on the screen, um, like I often do. And then let's go ahead and uh, reset this transform. Or actually, let's fit back to the screen and bring it back down to size a little bit. Great. And that's all there is to it. That's how you go ahead and um, set up your webcam and chroma key in Streamlabs OBS. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, and thank you so much for watching. Peace. What? You've never heard of Stream Savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.